Hello everyone and welcome back to Code With Me. In this video, we'll be learning the basics of JavaScript. We'll cover three main topics, variables and data types, operators, control flow, conditions and loops. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a strong foundation in JavaScript and be ready to write your own code. So let's dive in. One, variables and data types. Declaring variables, var, let, and const. In JavaScript, we use variables to store data. There are three ways to declare variables. Var. This is the old way of declaring variables. It has issues with scope, so we avoid using it. Let. This is the modern way to declare variables. It allows reassignment of values. Const. This is used for values that do not change. For example, let name equals John, const age 25. Var city equals New York. Here, name is declared using let which means we can change its value later. Age is declared using const, meaning its value cannot be changed. And city is declared using var, but we should avoid using it in modern JavaScript. Best practice, always use let and const instead of var to avoid unexpected bugs. Primitive data types in JavaScript. JavaScript has seven primitive data types. One, number, let x equals 42. Two, string, example, let name equals Alice. Three, Boolean, example, let is JavaScript fun equals true. Four, undefined, when a variable is declared but not assigned a value, example, let y. Five, null, an intentional empty value, example, let z equals null. Six, symbol, used to create unique identifiers, example, let sim equals symbol id. Seven, big int, used for very large numbers. Dynamic typing in JavaScript. JavaScript is dynamically typed, which means variables can hold different types at different times. For example, JavaScript let value equals 10, value equals hello, no error. This means JavaScript automatically changes the data type of value from a number to a string. Be careful when changing variable types. It can cause unexpected bugs. Type conversion and type coercion. JavaScript automatically converts types in certain situations. For example, in the first case, JavaScript converts them into a number and performs subtraction. In the second case, JavaScript converts two into a string and performs concatenation. To manually convert types, we can use JavaScript let num equals number one, two, three. Converts string to number. Let's t equal is fifth, six. Converts number to string. Two, operators in JavaScript. Arithmetic operators. Used for calculations. Comparison operators used to compare values. Best practice, always use equalpick instead of equalpicks to avoid unexpected type conversions. Logical operators, used for logical conditions. Assignment operators, used to assign values. Ternary operator, shorthand for if-else statements. Conditions and loops, if, else, else, if statements used for decision making. JavaScript let num equals 10, if num zero, console.log positive number, else if num zero to log negative number, else console.log zero. Switch statement used when multiple conditions exist. JavaScript let color equals red, switch color, console.log stop, stop, break, case yellow, console.log get ready, break. Case green, console.log go, break. Default, console.log invalid color. Loops in JavaScript. For loop, used when the number of iterations is known. For let i equals one, i equals five, i plus plus, console.log iteration i. While loop, runs as long as a condition is true. JavaScript let count equals one. While count five, console.log count, count, count plus. Do while loop runs at least once, even if the condition is false. JavaScript let number equals 10. Do console.log number is plus number, number. While number five. Break and continue statements. Break stops the loop completely. Example, JavaScript for let i each one, i equal five, i plus plus. If i equals three, break, stops the loop at three. Continue skips the current iteration. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more JavaScript tutorials. See you in the next video.